welcome 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 back to my channel guys on today i will show you how to make a habanero with mango hot sauce guys it is fabulous first of all you would need your habanero peppers if you notice i have the orange and also some red ones you can use whatever color you want and you're going to also need some red bell pepper you're going to need mango of course um lemon of course and also some um, garlic guys and onions all right uh, everything's already washed off and nice and clean so what you want to do is remove the stem all right off. guys what I'm going to do now is I have some oil in our cast iron I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove I start off with on high but I turn my stove down to maybe like a number five. And we're just gonna let these get a nice little char, but not too much, guys. So I'm just gonna add my habanero peppers. All right, guys, and then we're gonna add our garlics. like that and once it gets a nice color so I'll say about a minute to, or two on each side and then I'm gonna go ahead and sh come back and show you the next step all right guys just wanted to show you I'm gonna turn them over because they're starting to get a nice char guys and this would add so much flavor to your hot sauce unbelievable flavor guys and i also forgot to add the onion so i did add the onion and one may cook quicker than the other so you just take them out as they cook well not even cook as they uh char up guys um the other option is to put this on your grill i didn't feel like firing up the grill or you can go ahead and roast them in your oven. And I choose to roast them on the stove top like this. And keep an eye on your garlic, guys, because you do not want to burn the garlic. Because you know, once the garlic is burned, it has this bitter taste. So you don't want your hot sauce having a bitter taste, guys. That was beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to let this go for about a minute more and go ahead uh -oh. and take a look at our onions guys okay just a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and flip it over all right guys so once they're all nice and charred i'm going to go ahead and take them out then i'll show you what i do next all right guys these are looking good guys i took the garlics out i'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the garlic out. You do not want to overdo it, guys. You have to make sure your windows are open, guys, because the hot pepper is so strong. That's good. I'm going to leave these for a few more minutes, then I'll come back, guys. All right, guys. Um, moving on to the next step, guys. What I will do is just add just a little bit of oil in here like that. As you all know, I do use <clears throat> my grape seed oil, guys. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add my onions in, my bell peppers. And we're just gonna get this. We're not cooking it, guys. As of yet, we're just giving it a nice saute. I'm gonna go ahead and add our peppers in. Guys, if you don't want it as spicy as I have it, go ahead and remove the seeds out of your hot pepper. But I'm fine with the seeds, guys. 
So now at this point, guys, I will go ahead and add vinegar, guys. And I'm adding enough vinegar so that I can cover them just a little bit. That should be good. Guys, I'm adding in my mango. And if you do not like mangoes, you can go ahead and leave it out. Or you can substitute it with uh, pineapple, peaches, or whatever um, fruit you like. And as I stated, if you don't like the fruit, just leave it out. But trust me, guys, this has a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous taste to it. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some lemon, guys. That should be enough. I'm not going to squeeze the whole thing because these are pretty big. That should be fine. And to that, <clears throat> I will add some salt. That should be good. <clears throat> add less salt to start off with. And then you can adjust it as you make it. All right, guys. Now I will add some sugar, guys. Like this. And the sugar is going to help tone down the heat. We're going to allow this to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to let it simmer. Then I'll come back and show you guys. This has been simmering for about half an hour now, guys. Go ahead and turn our stove off. As you can see, everything is nice and soft. So what I will do is just let it cool down. Then I'll come back and show you what I do next. All right, guys. It has cooled down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my blender. And if you notice with this recipe, guys, I did not add any water. Guys, do not add water to this at all. I'm going to go ahead and blend it. And then we're going to strain it. All right, guys. All right, guys, it is looking fabulous. And this is why I use the red and the orange ones, because I want this nice bright color. So what we're gonna do is put it through a strainer and we're gonna strain it. If you notice, it's thick, but it's not too thick, guys, see? It's nice and liquidy. We're gonna strain it. And remove all of the residue that we do not want these chunks inside of our hot sauce, guys. All right, guys, here is our delicious hot sauce, guys. It smells fabulous. I love the consistency, guys. You must taste it if you need more lemon, uh, salt, or even sugar, guys. The sugar, remember, it helps um, balance the heat. So if you need more, just go ahead and add it. Just cater it to your taste, but this is fabulous. What I will do is go ahead and store it in a mason jar, guys. Okay? You go ahead and just pour it in like this. And you can store it in your refrigerator. Keep in mind that your vinegar 
serves as a preservative, the salt, as well as the lemon, guys, and even sugar serves as a preservative. So I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator, guys. Uh, it could last anywhere. Uh, it's about six months, guys, or even longer. But until next time, please like, comment. Do not forget to subscribe.